this week. We talk about women who lift, getting huge and manly. We're also going to talk about Thanksgiving, and I'm going to make a home gym product recommendation. Let's get into it. I apologize to the possible dozens of people uh, who missed our episode last week. I was traveling in Florida, and we tried to record uh, remotely, and my computer just gagged on it. It wasn't pretty. So here we are. My microphone smells like Fruit Loops. (laughs) Why? There's there's worse. There's so many questions. There's worse problems. There's... That's the best case scenario. Right. We when when I was traveling in the band full time and we would show up at a dirty, crusty bar and oh they provide microphones <laughs> and you'd sniff it and go, Oh Jesus. What what am I gonna catch from just being near this microphone? <laughs> Seriously, it's fruity. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> but, I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> What's, Wait, what's at least the, you know you got your sense of smell. What's that's the fruit that's covering good. up? <laughs> I got that new fruits, fruit scented for breeze for microphones. <laughs> right. All right. Well, recording this a couple of days before Thanksgiving. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and, uh, and talk about how women are going to get huge if they lift. I've heard that's true. They're going to get bulky and manly. Yes. People get accidentally fit all the time. They do. Yep. It's scary. I know it's crazy. So, but I thought we'd start with a, a nice little, nice little funny meme here that I saw. It said, "Here's a guy at a Starbucks. He says, customer, can I get a light roast, barista? You literally have the smallest calves I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> do you work your calves specifically? I do because I had a Achilles rupture. Oh, so I have to. Do the, Do you find that they're? I've always heard like even. Remember impossible. Thor, Thor got crap. Impossible to grow. Thor got crap for yeah. his his. Oh, I gave him shit. skipping leg day, right? I gave him shit mm-hmm. right on his Instagram. I'm like, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Some of that was the wide angle lens, but sure. Still, they're historically tough to grow separately, aren't they? They're really, 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 really difficult. What do you think? What's the best way to target them? I've heard of like calf raises, you know, weighted calf raises. You know, is that um, what else can you even do? Really? Eccentric is the big thing. Or what's that? The, the Explain. negative. So when you're on the you you okay, you do your calf raise content trick, and then you just e- yep. go as slow as you can on the way back yep. down. Full range of motion, um, heavy weight, uh, running, heavy weight, jumping. I bet that's the key, rather because calves are one of those ones where you think you're just going to do a bunch of reps. Yep. But that's where you like grab a plate or put a weighted vest on, and and then oh, more than that, get on the leg press with like four hundred on it. Oh, and then just up and just just, sh- just do oh, that. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow, okay. Yep. There you go, guys. That's how you get those calves beefy. And even then, they still won't <laughs> even grow. then it's still almost impossible, right? Ugh. Yeah, some of that's probably genetics too, right? Like just the. I wonder if that is. Mm-mm. Is that a? Can you? No, I know you well, can't of course target, it is to a point. You can't target fat loss. No, but you can target areas, muscles. But you can, you can target, target muscle growth. So but, if the same, if I, if the same person, not same person, but two different people, not a, not identical twins because they would have the same genetics, but if two different people of the same basic rough size, could they work their calves differently, or you know, and achieve the same growth? You think, or do genetics play a part in that? No, then genetics would be a factor. Yeah, but. That's if, what I'm going to blame if, it on. If then. anyone has small calves <laughs> and they don't work them, they could get bigger right. calves if they did work them. Yeah. Versus they may not be able to get huge calves. You can always improve. Right. That's the goal. But you may not get as massive as you want. Yeah. But they are a true test of patience. Oh, yeah. No shit. Yeah. So then it's a question of how much time in your workout do you dedicate to that, you know? Especially I, when it's something that's lagging. Yeah, like mine's trying to catch up. Right. Oh, sorry. Late night. Um, <laughs> the, um, I just, what's helped mine the most recently is I just do it all the time. Like, even if I'm just sitting at my desk, I'll just, I mean, 
I just do it all the time. Just Kegels and, and calf yeah, raises yep, all the I, time at your desk. Maybe that's why they're not growing. <laughs> Kegel ratio is higher than the, <laughs> yep. than the calf raise. I'll, awesome. I'll work on that. Okay, well, I want to make a product recommendation here. So well, actually, before we get into the show, the thing. So, you know, in my home gym, I've went through a few different flooring choices. Now, this is just the cheap stuff you get at, like, I think Walmart, you know, Shield sells these. And feel how squishy that is? No, oh, yeah. What I found was this doesn't work well when you're holding a lot of weight because you, uh, right. you start to lose your oh, balance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because it's so it's like squishy. Wearing a, it's like wearing a tennis shoe when you're trying to lift heavy. Exactly. So I had this for a few months. And I'm like, okay, you know, it works. It looks good. But... I was starting to get, as I was going up in weight, I was starting to get more shaky and, you mm-hmm. know, <laughs> start almost losing my balance. And if you're trying to do an overhead press or something, that's scary. Right. You know, because you don't want to topple over. So, but this stuff's really cheap. You can get anywhere. It's good for, it's probably good for, you know, just doing light stuff or, or having your kids jump around on it. That's good. So I did a little bit of research. I check this shit out. That's normal. Yeah. yeah this is like. That's better commercial level you know it's really really stiff but Mm -hmm. it still has a little just a teeny bit of give and it'll protect just the floor yep but when you lock them all together it looks seamless too like the way these go together oh yeah yeah yeah. it's really nice so so here's what uh, just so and i'll put the link in the show notes here's where i got it from americanfloormats.com and it's called fitlock rubber tiles so you know they go together really nice and it looks like just one smooth floor very, you know, it takes a beating, will protect what's underneath, and you, you can drop weights on them and stuff. And right. They that's come in different the, thickness. And that's the whole point, is to be able to drop your shit. The other thing, too, is I had, I have a pull-up, power, what do they call it, a sta- power, like a power station, or I don't know, thing has a pull-up bar and a dip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the thing I got off Amazon, but I had the squishy tiles underneath that. When I would do pull-ups, it would... Start to rock a little really? bit. Really? Oh, but, I suppose. But yeah. when I put this stiffer stuff underneath, then it was solid as a rock. Sure. So it really cuts down on the swaying from any machine work you're doing at your house too. So sure. There's my product recommendation at AmericanFloorMats.com. They're kind of, they're a little expensive, but I feel like it's gonna last a long time. For sure. So and you know, uh, if you just have a little room, which you know, wait, that's a square foot, I assume. It's two foot by Oh. Two foot by two foot. That's a, a chopped up one. Oh, okay. Because I had to cut corners in my... Sure. But yeah, they come in 24 inch by 24 inch. Um, How much per piece? Let's see here. So I think I have the three eighths, two by two, center tile, nine bucks. Uh, that's not bad at all, actually. Per piece? Yeah. For two foot by two foot, though. So, you know... Still, that's a lot of money. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do a giant room, but my room's eight by 10. Oh, So okay. that's 80 square feet, and this is two, so. 40. You know, yeah, so it's, you know, didn't take very many tiles. Um, it was like, you know, 150 bucks or something. Mm. So, you know, that to have that quality, commercial quality level flooring onto your stuff, definitely worth it, in my opinion, especially if you only have to do it once. Right. And it looks really good, too. Um, <clears throat> and I got mine with the little red specs. Oh, sure. You know? Why not? You can pick all those. So there's my recommendation. <laughs> okay, now here's something. Today's show brought to you by. Here's something. That, did you see this shit? Because we're coming up on Thanksgiving here, right? So my buddy Jack sent me this picture of a dude doing the same exact protest in a different town. And then the next day, this showed up in Fargo. <laughs> no way. That's Fargo? This is Fargo. Yep. See, man strips in downtown Fargo as part of a pita turkey protest. <laughs> so then it basically for those listening, it says we are all the same pita and then has a giant cleaver and it's got a couple like uh, foam turkey bodies and then a naked dude laying down in, in the same position. What is wrong with him? As a turkey and he's totally naked and the you can tell it's cold because the police or whoever, I don't know. Maybe there are other PETA people, helpers or whatever. They, well, I don't they have think their parkas on. And a rat hat. No, I don't know if they... Or is that hair or what the fuck? Is that I don't, right? I don't know what that is. Is that her... I can't tell. Maybe it's a masked person with a... I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I don't either. But uh, yeah, I thought that was funny. So PETA, you know, they got to chime in on Thanksgiving. 
You know, they, you got to give them credit. Turkeys. Commitment to the bit. <laughs> they're, I mean, <laughs> they're all in, Davey. Yeah. I mean, that dude is, does he have like leggings on? Well, yeah. he's not even naked. He he's didn't got a commit. Clear body suit. He didn't commit. No. If the giblets aren't showing, then, you know, what good are you? Right. Well, <laughs> get over there and get the cleaver out. <laughs> That is funny shit, man. So, you know. Look at all the people joining in the protest. <laughs> Mass, simply massive. They became. came to the wrong massive. town. But, yeah. And, and, it's downtown Fargo. People are staring out the window of Worst Beer Hall. Eating <laughs> sausage links. Bowing down sausage from various assorted animals. Right. I think you can get rattlesnake. Oh, for sure. You know, rabbit. It's the best place. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit. Okay, let me, uh, I got to pull up one one thing you sent me to. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, remember you sent me this. It was you that sent me this, right? Yeah. And then you said it should be called nipple. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? I don't understand plant-based milk. I don't get it either. Um, but I, I'm going to give them some props here, though. These fuckers know how to market, okay? Oh, there's no question. Look at this shit. I mean... Health, look at what they're equating it to, healthy living. So the inference is if you drink this somehow chemically concocted pea-based milk, like it's, it just seems to me so unnatural, which ironically, they're they're pushing how natural this is. But No, well, sure it is. Well, but I'm saying, you know, like the amount of processing this has to go through to turn into milk, it's just crazy. I don't As know opposed what, to I don't milking know a cow and scraping off the cream and going, there, there's your milk. You know? I'm torn. <laughs> I'm not I'm not anti-dairy. No, not at all. But at the same time, we're not baby cows. True. So from an ancestral tenant, yeah, I, liver king approach, yep. we probably shouldn't be drinking that. I don't even animals. disagree because yeah. that was one of the first things I ditched. Right. But because of the carbs. Right. And the sugar, and the sugar yeah. yeah. So for my kids, I got rid of cereal and milk. But I feel so much better when I stop drinking milk. Yeah, a lot of people have adverse reactions to dairy. You know, I didn't, and the, and like we often say with a lot of different things, mm -hmm. I didn't know that I was it was making me feel bad until I stopped drinking. Oh it. yeah, right. And then I drank it again, and I'm like, mm, like Just doubled instantly. over. And, really? Wow. I mean, I'm not lactose <clears throat> intolerant. I don't think. No, that's a spectrum it, like anything. It's just. It gives me a little bit of a gut rot, and yep. I don't feel well. I get a little bit of a chill, kind of shivers, and really, yeah. Oh wow! I mean, but it goes away right away. Well, I think it's a spectrum, just like anything, and you're just not severe. You know, right. there's people that have it and are just doubled over. Oh, in they get the toilet, and yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I got to give these guys credit. I mean, their marketing is really good. Okay, so it's healthy living and healthy environment, right? Look at that. I mean, uh, it's not GMO. It's, oh, they reduce conservation and they have an evil cow, you know? Oh, how dare you? They're not evil, they're sacred. <laughs> Should be. They're sacred. So let's just read a little bit about the, the ripple effect. We want to make helping the planet feel effortless. And then, see, there's always a rule in politics, attack from, like, if you want to attack the left, you attack from the left. And if you attack the right, you want to attack from the right. Mm -hmm. Be more right than them, be more left than them. Right. Perfect example. They say, unlike almonds, so they're going they're going right after the right, other right. non-dairy things. Yep. Unlike almonds, which require irrigation, or cattle, which contribute to deforestation and greenhouse gas emissions, <sighs> peas have a small environmental footprint. Yellow peas grow in areas that receive lots of rain, so they need little or no irrigation. I'm going to buy this shit. I mean, they're good at this. Look at that. And then, of course, they have a, just a nice picture of a... <laughs> A lady, you know, well, who knows what that is? Just a lady just running. Just free, scampering. Carefree. Carefree. Can't scampering through like this. Oh, it's just a meadow. Mm -hmm. And these just these peas just occur here naturally. Mm -hmm. And we just walk around and pick them and then make them into your milk. And yeah, they just occur, occur naturally in 20 inch rows. <laughs> right. Uh, so funny. I mean, so props to them, you know, yeah. for really. Yeah, no, they do a good job. All the, all the money was spent oh, on whoa, the market. Go back up. That was Michael Pollan. Eat food, not too much. Mostly, mostly plants. plants. <sighs> See, now they got me. Yes, yep. To quote Michael Pollan, you're probably going to get me. Yep. Damn it. And then they say it's a great source of protein, half the sugar of dairy milk, and rich, creamy, and delicious. And then they talk about how great the yellow pea is. Um, it's cholesterol-free. Well, that's, to me, that's not a good thing. But You know what? I'm going to buy some. 
just to see. Yeah. Try. Oh, you know what? I forgot I was going to buy the stupid Impossible Whopper today. Remind me next That's time. That's a thing? I yeah. Burger did I, King. Did I know that? The Impossible Whopper. Oh, I try did. It. We did talk about it. We're going to try it. Yeah. yeah. Remind, me, remind me next week. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one of those. Do you um, see the Liver King shooting no. his Beyond Meat with a shotgun? No. <laughs> but I love it. So, yeah. He just did, funny. He, I mean. They're destroying the, him for being. The not, Liver King? Not Natty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, people are just. Has he ever blowing. said? No. He, he never comes out and says, I am natural. But he says, I live the nine ancestral tenants. And he goes through a spiel. But <laughs> he. Uh, he never comes out and says. And for those who don't know what we're talking about, here's the guy we're talking about, the Liver King. <laughs> the funniest comment because he was getting. And this guy's like, however much testosterone your average person has, he has triple. Yeah, and it's <laughs> look at that picture. The second from the far he right. He shaves every morning, and then then he has this top right. That one. Look, one? click on that one. Oh, Holy God. balls! God damn! And, and, and here's the I mean, he looks like Arnold. Right. You know, I mean, like full on in the seventies. And people are just laughing. Saying, and he's oh. literally checking a spear. <laughs> he's, oh, I mean, he does it every day? Yeah, I mean, you can't be any more just like but he caveman said, than this guy. He, uh, the, the comments were priceless. The most common one that I thought was so funny was, and it re re reoccurred many times, so yeah. a lot of people thought it. And then when I say it, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. But one guy goes, when did Tim Allen get so ripped? <laughs> 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 well, you know what? He looks like Tim Allen in the Santa Claus when he's mid transition. Or you know who? Except he for minus the fact. You know who he actually looks like? And I call. I said it the first time I saw one of Mike Rowe. No, he looks like Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's got that. Yeah, that prospector mustache thing. Split pea soup. Don't you mean peanut butter? You eat what you want. I'll eat what I want. <laughs> I'm guessing this guy doesn't eat a lot of Ripple. Doesn't drink a lot no. of Ripple. No. I don't think he drinks a lot of anything but water. Crazy. So, yeah, that's a liver king, baby. Look at his, that, that loin. Vein. Look at that vein. The right loin there. around his neck in that one I picture. Know. Right here. God damn. And he probably just, like, walks, does a hike with that, and then just takes random bites out of it. Oh, without a <laughs> doubt. But you know what? Look, he's, he's exploded. Well, yeah, because he's so... Outrageous, but think about He's it. Just on brand. Think about Everything it. On brand. Would you take roids and eat some balls to blow up like that? That's all he did. He had to get, just get a little crazy, grow out his beard. A lot of guys would. I think. I mean, so. you can't. You know, with results like that, a lot of guys. A lot of guys would just go to that, that guy and say, "Just tell me what to do, man." Yeah, and then he'd grab a bag of syringes <laughs> and some vials and said, "Here, do <laughs> this this." Pull it this far onto the <laughs> syringe twice a week and lift your ass off. Because you still got to do the work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. There's no, no matter how much you inject, you're not going to just grow that stuff. Right. That's crazy. <clears throat> and we'll get into that. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, yeah. So the PETA went nuts in town. All right. Let's move into Thanksgiving. Speaking of PETA and turkey. So I, I had this meme a while back, but now it's apropos. It says, if you cut out 500 calories a day between now and Thanksgiving, you can eat 28,000 calories on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. That's similar to my post this morning. That's what, that's what made me are, think of it. People are blasting me over. So, yeah. So bring up what you – make your point that you made earlier as far as Thanksgiving goes. Well, if you want to – let's just say there's so many people – I don't want to – well, I'm gonna out with it. I'm gonna hope that <laughs> the people who commented on my post are not listening, <laughs> or they at least understand me and my personality and what I believe and my passion and where I come from. Mm -hmm. And it's a comes from a good place, I think. Yeah. So that said, you just want everybody to be their healthiest. They exactly. Can be. That's the ultimate goal. So here's my argument. Somebody said on that post that fasting and restricting your calories. Well, first, first off, I said, similar to this meme, that if you do 500 calories starting today and tomorrow, a reduction, deficit, deficit, a reduction yep. in where you're <clears throat> currently at. Yep. If you're not tracking, 
and you're not exercising, you're not just paying attention at all. Mm-hmm. You can't just go, well, I'll cut out 500 calories. Yeah, cut from, out from what? From, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. You'll, never get, you'll never get it right. You're exempt. <laughs> just, just enjoy it Thursday. But if you're tracking and you know you're in a caloric deficit, increase that deficit over the next two days. Do whatever you want on Thursday and pick up Friday right where you fucking left off Wednesday. Yeah, because then it's a push. Yep, you just pick up right off where you left. Pick up where you left off on Wednesday. But some people argued, and let's pause right there, real quick, because just to put some context on this. So, typical Thanksgiving dinner, three thousand calories, which I think is bullshit. You think it's low or high? That's way low, <laughs> dude. People are eating fifteen hundred <laughs> calories just in fucking pie. <clears throat> Seriously, just in pies, That's they're hilarious. eating fifteen hundred calories. It's, I was going to say that seems hard 5, to get there. I was going to say it seems hard to get there, but you're like, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> well, how big is an average piece of pie? I don't even know, but like this, yeah, probably that thick. Mm-hmm. That's six hundred calories. You're going to only have one. Don't no. fucking lie. No, no, everyone's going to have two pieces. Yeah, of it pie. says add it all up, and the typical American consumes about three thousand calories and one hundred fifty grams of fat in a Thanksgiving meal, according to the Calorie Control Council. And that doesn't count going back for a second wave. Right. So that doesn't count seconds. And who doesn't so have who, seconds? Which could tack on at perhaps another thousand. So they're really at four thousand. It's going to be five. And if you're six two, two thirty, right? Then you can, you know. I mean, yeah, my I my ninety year old that. grandma's not going to eat four thousand, right? You know, so I, this is an average. But here's the thing. <clears throat> so make your point now that we kind of set the context there, right? Which I think that's extremely low. <laughs> you know what though? That's let's just let's just that's an average. Split though. a difference amongst kids. And three right. So three thousand. I said five. Let's split the difference. Say four thousand. Mm-hmm. That's assuming that that's the only meal you eat that day. <laughs> How many people have their Thanksgiving meal in the afternoon and had already had breakfast? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, what's your time that you guys do it? One. Same here. So most people have breakfast. So most people have had breakfast, and guess what they're having for supper? Leftovers. Leftovers. And don't tell me you didn't do all the little fucking finger food before the meal was served. And after. And after. Oh, yeah. And the pumpkin pie. It's basically then, 12 hours of straight it, eating. It is. Yeah. It is. Don't give me the, that's why 3,000 is bullshit. 3,000 <laughs> in that one initial plate, maybe. <laughs> right. Yes. So, but here's my argument. People argued on my Facebook page that if you're on a plan, don't deviate from that plan. Stay on that plan. Enjoy Thursday. Pick up Friday right where you left off, and you're fine. So don't preemptively operate in a deficit the two days before. Don't preemptively operate in a deeper deficit. So that's, they're already in one. Right. So that's the difference. Is you're saying. Cut up, just go know, deeper. Inc- so just go then, a little that deeper. way it's a push because their method, it's not a push. They're going to actually be up. They're going to be up. Right. And they're saying, <clears throat> well, if you, the one person on my Facebook who shall remain nameless because she's a sweetheart <laughs> is being radical and fasting leads to bad decision making and deeper binging Overeating, and yeah. and then and then a spiral after Thursday. Right. Wait a second. Aren't you already in a fucking deficit? Supposed to be. So what's the difference? Right. You're already restricting yourself. Yep. So restricting yourself another 250 or 500 calories for two days before isn't anything you're not already doing. It's not that radical, yeah. No. It's not going to make the difference. Right. Or you wouldn't think it would be unachievable. Right. I, I could probably. I'm I not saying see. don't eat for five days leading up to Thursday. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think your your point is well taken. And it's. I think either way would probably work. It's just a question of at the end of the week. With your way, it's a push. With her, with their way, it's you're up a little. And like I even said in my last comment I made on the the thread was, if you're in it for the long haul, for years, and you have no goal and no specific purpose for your nutritional approach, like you're trying to get lean for a competition it, coming up bingo. or whatever. If that's not who then who fucking cares? Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Then who cares? You just get there one week slower. Right. But you can't say that it won't be a pause or a setback. Yeah, it does. It does make a difference. Yeah, it it yeah. is a setback. Yep. 
Yeah, so if you're fine with that, then just at least... But then who cares? At least admit it and know what you're doing. Yes. With an open open, just, open eyes. It, that was my whole point. Don't yep. go into it saying that I'm going to do whatever I want on Thursday, live exactly how I do leading up to Thursday, do whatever I want Thursday, and there's zero consequence. Right. Bullshit. Yep. That's not true. No, I think you're right. There is. That's the only point I had. Here's my... People just love to fucking argue with me. <laughs> I think you love it. Here's my Thanksgiving tips. I was thinking about this, like, okay, if I was going to try to not hit the 5,000 calories, mm -hmm. and I'm not, you know, I'm not one that says, you know, walk in there and just, like, stand in the corner with your arms crossed, and when they say to you on pie, say, fuck you. Right. You know, like, don't be that guy. Yeah. Don't be the asshole that turns down birthday cake. Yeah, don't be that guy. But yeah. if you're, if you want to try to not hit the 5,000, what I would say is chug a giant glass of water, like, you know, if you're, when you're in the bullpen, <laughs> yeah, getting ready to go up to the, and let satiety do its thing for you. And the second part of that is let turkey, right? Turkey, perfect source of protein, lower fat than a lot of Half things. Half your plate should be white meat. Half your whole plate. And if you start with that and prioritize that, mm -hmm. let, satiety will do its thing and you'll just less... You know, you're not going to maybe have three pieces of pie. You might have one and be like, "All right, fuck, I'm stuffed." Can't can't put it in. Yeah, because you hit that. Because remember, you know, as animals, we will eat until our protein needs are satisfied. Right. And then you know you that's when you'll maybe slow down mentally. You still might, you know, stuff it down like a Civil War musket, just because we're animals at Thanksgiving and we go off the rails. But that's tradition. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it feels good. It's comfort. Yeah. So, you know, if you're trying to kind of at least rein yourself in a little, that's my two tips. You know, drink a giant glass, but just like chug water, like for, you know, an hour before, fill up that stomach and then prioritize the turkey, white meat, like you said, high protein, um, make Leave, that. Skip the skin. Yeah. or And even if just your, your plate is mostly turkey and go with that first, then you're less likely to have the potatoes, the bread, the, you know, the super... Super calorically dense carb things. Mm -hmm. So, and then just let satiety work work in your favor. You can still um, another fun hack <clears throat> for that. I always tell people: fill your plate with half your plate with white meat, eat it all, and then just take a break. Right. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait. Because. That's an interesting point because satiety doesn't kick in mm -mm. right away, does nope, it? Nope, it doesn't. There's a lag. Yep. There's a lag in that hormone there. Yep. And then you're like, I'm still good. I'm good. I can keep eating. You know, fix me up some more. Like it's a you, contest. Yeah. And you pile that plate on. And then as soon as you like wait for a second to even go sit down and you sit back down at your chair and you, you go like this and you grab your fork and you're like, fuck, I took too much. <laughs> yep. Because yeah. you, when you're in the when you're in the mood, you're you're, you're, in, you're like Joey Chestnut. When you're in, yeah, when you're in the act, it's like oh, I could, this could just do this all day. Dunk this hot dog in water, <laughs> right down. Dunk this hot dog in water, <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Yeah, like it's not a contest. You don't win anything by cramming more in there, right? You know what's and that's something that's tough for me because my thought is, well, if I can get more pie in there, that's good because the pie tastes good, right? And if you can somehow at least turn that down a little, yeah. You know, you can maybe not be completely miserable for the second half of the day. One of the other hacks that I've used in the past, and it helps, is pick a top three. Items? Yep. Food items? Go up to the table, pick a top three. Cherry pie, pumpkin pie, banana pie. No, dessert's a separate category. <laughs> right. I'm talking about your initial plate. Pick your top three. What are your top three? Maybe even it's, fuck, I don't care. Maybe it's four or five. But for me, it's three. It's turkey, stuffing, and sweet potatoes. Yeah. Those three. Good stuff. So outside of that, fuck all. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> the, the the rolls? Skip them. Skip them. Don't waste your t calories on that. Oh, that weird can-shaped cranberry thing. Yeah. <laughs> it just splurges right out of the I'll the never can. forget that. Years ago, we were this big. And my brother looked at my grandma and said, "Did those come out of a can?" And you could just see them. the ridges. <laughs> yeah. We were kids, so we thought that was fucking hilarious. That's good stuff. <clears throat> but but pick pick a few, and then don't feel like you have to eat everything on the counter because it was made. It's you're not Joy Chestnut, right? It's not a competition. Oh, I just love the dinner <laughs> rolls. Do you? 
Do you? <laughs> yeah. So I do. If you have to pick, skip them. Right. Yeah. If I'm like, well, I I would like a I would like a dinner roll with a little hot butter on it. Mm-hmm. That that sounds good, right? Yeah. But if I have to pick between that piece of white bread and sweet potatoes with pecans and brown sugar, yeah. which one am I picking? Right. Fuck the roll. Yep. So I just skipped that. And luckily we both like meat, so we're right. going to automatically gravitate to the protein. Well, my even without doing nutrition for a living, the, my plate, since I was this big, was half turkey. Yeah. No matter what. Mm-hmm. Um, or, and, and ham, you know, sometimes you mix it up oh, a little yeah. bit. Exactly. <clears throat> so, that's as I our... get older, I realize that turkey's kind of overrated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think it's the best tasting meat by, by a long shot. Yeah. But for, from a nutritional perspective, it's really good. Oh. So it checks all the boxes. So when you're, it's you top know, shelf. Absolutely. Be thankful that you're, that that's one of the main choices at Thanksgiving. Yes. You know, so yep. just embrace that part of it and prioritize that protein. Cause I've been lobbying for, um, I've been lobbying for years that, why? Why do we have to have turkey? It's pure tradition. Right. I'll, I'll buy. I'll buy prime rib. I'll spring yep. for it. Yeah. How's that sound? Oh, you know that sounds really good. But we gotta have turkey. In. Yeah. You well, can't. It's not Thanksgiving half without the people turkey. People will be mad if you don't have it. Right. That's the thing. So buy a small bird, and I'll get a prime rib. And you know what I did was so I make my move on Christmas because turkey's kind of set. You know. Yeah. So lat for last Christmas, I grilled in my garage a big prime rib grilled char- oh, charcoal grill, and nice. it took like three hours sure oh that was so good but oh. yeah so since we were in charge and then it was christmas then i could feel i could deviate right because right? no one's expecting turkey we can't deviate. So i made my move on yeah. christmas and see yeah. see christmas is dominated by ribs really on my wife's side yeah huh. yeah everybody's got their thing right yep <clears throat> yeah, i grew up christmas eve was prime rib oh can't get wrong man or fondue Steak and shrimp, and yes, put it on the little skewer and drop it in the oil, and <laughs> everyone makes their own. I just sat and ate the beef the whole time. <laughs> oh, you're making me hungry, dude. <laughs> All right, let's get into our topic. So, before we start getting into these articles here, um, I feel like we just talked about that. <laughs> yeah, we did. This is our failed digital choke episode. <laughs> um, so in your coaching, have you had women say this to you? I don't, I don't want to work out because I don't want to get too bulky. I don't want to look like a man. I don't want to get big shoulders. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going to eat a bunch of protein and lift weights. I don't want to look like a man. Fuck, I've heard it a hundred times. Right. And Legitimately. They, yeah. It's a real, real, real myth that's out there. And every personal trainer runs into this. <clears throat> so we're here to dispel that. So, and before we... And it's sad that we still have to have this conversation. Because you'd think we've come far enough that it's been dispelled. Right. But there's still women who think they just have to pound the treadmill. So when I type in women bodybuilders just into Google image here, here's what we get. I don't have any proof, but I think that one's fake. Yeah, I think so. I, I, I don't think that's, that's funny. Real. That's just a, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. So, but let's look at a couple of these. Okay. So now this, okay. That one is looking. Now we, we just literally typed in women bodybuilders into Google image search here. And some look extremely muscular and what you would, this is, this is what they're afraid of. Yep. As a guy like this. They think if I start eating some ribeyes and lifting heavy, that's what they're going to poof. Six months later. This is what they're going to be. And they're going to be walking on the oh beach and people God, are going, hey, I turned, dude, what's I turned up? into a man. Right. Now, I agree. I think, just personal opinion, I think that is kind of gross. You know, that's... Just, I think it's... Um, I think it's, it's... There's a certain beauty to it. I mean, I appreciate and I the work. And I, am, I think it's impressive. I think if they want to look like that, I completely support them yeah go for it and i think it's awesome i think it's not as <laughs> you're being so it's delicate not right as extreme 
No, I'm being completely honest. <laughs> I I love it. I th- I think this is awesome, it. and I appreciate this, <laughs> but I'm not attracted to it. Right. Exactly. Well, and, th- and that's what if a woman a woman says that to you that they don't want to get like this, that's what they're worried about. Sure. They w- Fair enough. But you're not going to. But not even if you said, "How can I get like this?" You know what? You'd I want that. to. You say you, you can't. Yeah, you can't. It's not possible. If, even if they came to me and said, "You know what? Fuck it. I want the meat right. and the heavy weights because I want like, to look like I'm that." I'm all in, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm all in to look like that. I'm gonna go. Nah, you're still not going. It's to. Still not gonna happen, right? Even if you tried to, you can't, right? Because you got to understand, these women are like the top point zero zero one percent of of bodybuilders. You know, not even just of people. Like this is the top one percent of, you know. And even if they come to me and say, "Okay, fine, that's an extreme. I don't want to look like that, yep. but I don't want to look muscular, or bulky at all." Right. Great. Guess what? You're not going. That's to. not going to happen either. You're not going to. <laughs> now let's look at. Uh, now this I think is a little more reasonable. Of an, it's still very very hard to achieve. You're still not going to do that. It's still, You're still not going to achieve. Like that. You know how many without massive you know massive many, effort. You, the, you know, we're looking at top CrossFit type in women. women CrossFitters, so. And those CrossFit women spend hours in the gym. Hours. And they're lean. They're very lean, and they are very muscular, but it's not as big of a muscle. Yep. And that's and, really the difference is the size of the muscle. And they're still, this is, you look at Katrin and Brooke Wells right there. Yep. Those two, you look at them, top of their game. Some of the best in the world. They're not that big. They're not that big. They're very, very muscular. And they're super lean, yeah. but they spend thousands of hours in the gym. And you know what? You put clothes on them, they don't look big. They look normal. They, yep. just, they, don't, they don't look like a Yeah, they don't look athlete. like a scary man lady. Nope. You know, which is what the woman who says that is afraid of looking like. These these Right. And if you, scroll, if you scroll <laughs> far enough or, f- you know, further through, mm-hmm. you'll end up seeing some of these ladies in normal dress. Right. And you'll be like, oh. Even in just like tank tops and stuff. Yeah. You know, they just look. Well, look at, look at. Like here. Well, like, yeah. okay, perfect example. She's won the wins every time. Yeah. And she's, with the t-shirt it, on, she looks like a regular lady. Yes. Not even, like if she walked on the street, you wouldn't even think that was a top athlete. Mm-mm. You would just say she's in shape. Yeah. That but goes. she's dominant. <laughs> she owns the sport. Right. Tia, and that's, what's her yeah, name? Tia. Tia Claire Toomey. She, right. she does own the sport right now. Yep. And you're right. Without just her sports bra, t- you know, exercise top. Yep. She just looks like she's someone who takes care of herself. Exactly. So the the thought that you're going to, and this is one thing you always say all the time, you know, you can't accidentally get he who drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody ever accidentally turned into a bodybuilder. No, exactly. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about that a little bit here. So, and here's an article. Um, it says five reasons why lifting weights won't make you bulk up. Shutting down that argument once and for all with science. That's um, amazing, though, that they won't even look at a heavy barbell for the uh, out of fear that right. they're going to get bulky, That's, but they have no problem hammering a cupcake buffet. (laughs) Well, and that's the problem with the myth is that it makes women avoid lifting heavy or doing resistance training at all. Because it's hard. When it's the most beneficial thing. Right. Because they think it might end up, they might end up looking like they don't want when they, when really that's what they need to achieve the look they do want. Right. Which is slim and muscular, slim and lean. Yeah. It's, it's such a, it's counterintuitive. It is. Because you think, oh, I'm going to deadlift and I'm going to do all this stuff and I'm going to get big. Well, really, that's you're going to get more lean and in shape, but you're not going to get bigger. In the same breath, they'll say, how do I get that popping booty? (laughs) Fucking deadlift. Deadlift, yeah. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You know what to do. You're afraid to do it. Squats and deadlifts. Because you think you're going to have boulder shoulders. Yep. You're not. Not going to happen. Just genetically, it's not possible. Um, Way less for women. It's so, so much harder for them to get the the bigger muscles. Oh, right. Um, so, okay, so let's see. And more and more women are picking up barbells and dumbbells, increasing their strength and power, banding together because of it. But even with its increasing popularity, there's still a camp of firm believers in that whole weightlifting will make me bulky and masculine BS. We're here to crush that argument once and for all. 
Being a woman who lifts heavy weights won't make you bulky, manly, or look like a She-Hulk. In fact, it'll do just the opposite. It'll tighten and tone all over your body, burn fat, and shape your curves exactly how you want them. <clears throat> and then, I, okay, so here's one. Here's one thing that we point out all the time: is the more lean muscle mass you have, the more calories you'll burn. So, if you're trying to lose weight and slim down, that's why you'll actually get slimmer. The more lean muscle mass you have, is because it'll be easier to burn off the fat that you do have. Right. And the best easiest way to do that is by resistance training. You know, you're not going to put on more lean muscle mass by hitting the treadmill. No, and you're not going to avoid looking like a bodybuilder because you use low weights and high reps. Well, yeah, that's the other thing. That's why they make the pink dumbbells that are two pounds, right? Yes. You stay. (laughs) Which I have. Use the pink ones. You'll stay girly. (laughs) <laughs> I have those for my daughters, you know, because that's just what they can lift. But right. but as soon as I can get them up, as soon as they can do 10, right. up to the next thing, up to the next thing. Right. You got to go up, go up, go up. Don't just do more reps. No. Do 10 where you can barely finish the 10. Oh, I don't want to get big. I just want to get toned. <clears throat> then lose fat. Lose That's fat. nothing to do with what you're you lifting. Lose fat by lifting heavy. So it says you're shaping your body, not making it bigger. Lifting heavy weights is a great way to get the shape of the body that you may be seeking. You could churn away at an elliptical, bike, or on the trail for hours trying to burn fat. But the secret to a tighter body isn't in burning off every ounce of jiggle with cardio. It's in creating a solid muscular base. <clears throat> here's what. Here's exactly what you just said. Oh, per- I didn't Want say a perkier, perkier bum? bum? Right. Do squats and deadlifts. Want more defined arms and back? Do some shoulder presses and pull-ups. Bench presses and snatches aren't necessarily required. You can work with the trainer to find a strength training routine that works for you and your goals. Um, so then it says you can train for the results you want. Now, this, unlike burning fat, you can target muscle groups to build. Sure. So like you said, you want the pop and bow tie. Squat your ass off. Squat, on. I'm sorry. Deadlifts, Squat yep. your ass on. Squat your ass on. <laughs> exactly. That's good. <clears throat> yeah. And you want, you know, you want more Bigger biceps or what, and you know, or not bigger, but just more toned. Or do you just want them? Well, <laughs> and here's the other. Well, right, that's the other thing, is that we and we pointed out in our lost destroyed episode was that mm-hmm. you may not, you may just get up to the normal human amount of muscles, right, that are required to be a right. healthy, alive human. Yep. Because what are the odds that most women walking around are way under muscled, if that's a term? Probably most, right? Eighty percent, exactly. Yeah. So you're not gonna cross past normal human and get to She-Hulk, right? You, you need to get up to regular, you get normal women, first. Human. Get normal. Yep. And, and then we can talk about three a days and two hundred grams of protein every day. And yep. Then we can talk about getting big, and then anabolic steroids on top of that. <laughs> Liver queen. Liver queen, and even <laughs> then. Probably still not gonna. I want to see Liver King, Liver King's wife. I've seen Liver there. Queen. She's in one of the last Instagram she videos. Totally freaking just dis- destroyed. Uh, no, two or she couldn't really tell. You know what? Truth be told, I was still looking at him. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like it's when guys guys work out, it's not for chicks. Oh right, it's for other. He's dudes. a freak of nature. Like, how do I get abs that look like the? Bread loaves. <laughs> they, they, they do. It looks like it looks like buns that are right. cooking in a pan. <laughs> right. They're so thick. Yeah, it is crazy, man. <clears throat> okay, here's another point. We make, made this earlier. You won't wake up with insta muscles. If you do a few bicep curls and eat some spinach, you're not going to wake up looking like Popeye. It usually takes months just to see some average fitness process, more like toned muscles or decreased body fat. To get a bulky or bodybuilder level of muscularity... You'd not only have to train and diet in an extreme fashion, but you'd have to keep at it for years. Those types of athletes work extremely hard to look the way they do. You won't end up there by accident, we promise. That's almost exactly what you say all the time. Right. And it's um, <clears throat> 10,000 hours. Yeah. To, to be an expert of anything takes 10,000 hours, right? Yeah. So it's really a shame that people are avoiding resistance training and lifting heavy just because they're afraid of but this. But they're not. They're not afraid of that actually happening. And like I alluded that, to that that's in, just our, a bullshit in our excuse. last episode. They, they're avoiding it because they think they're going to, they're not, they don't really think they're going to end up looking like Lou Ferrigno. 
they're really, really saying, I don't want to do it because it's hard. Louise Frig, no. Right. <laughs> yeah. But that's why. They yeah. don't want to do it because it's hard and yeah, it hurts. That's true. Yeah. But it's but, a different kind of hurt because <clears throat> But you know what same sucks ones for me is I'd rather I'd rather lift heavy, do a few sets of lifting heavy than be on the treadmill for an hour. But they don't. They think that hurts way more. Whereas me, I'm like, no, I'd rather lift. It to hurts. me, the boredom of being on the treadmill is way worse. But I because and it's weird because the lifting is a good hurt. Right. It's a good hurt. You get that pump. You just you're full. Of course, you're but swole. as a wool. But but as a masculine dude, that's all dude though. Yeah, maybe. You know, but we, the women we, we are like just like oh, but the treadmill, <laughs> it's a good hard too. I don't know. I don't either. For me it's efficiency too. Okay. If I'm you know, if you're lifting heavy and doing some sets of heavy weight, it's just a lot quicker. For sure. Then you don't have out. to pick though. You well, can do both. And you should do both you because of cardiovascular both. health. Yeah, you need to but we're here we're just talking about muscle too. Yeah, we're just talking about lean muscle mass here. Right. But yeah, that's a separate conversation. But if the goal is to build lean muscle mass, you got to be doing resistance training with with the heaviest weights you can do a pro, in proper form for the right amount of sets. Yep. <clears throat> so here's another article. It says, does lifting weights make women bulky? That myth, the myth that won't die. It really won't either. It just... Yeah. And that's why the science is caught up and, and the explanation is there. The proof is in the results. Google women bodybuilders, yep. women CrossFitters. It's all there. It's, it's all, all there, there for the learning. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Because they don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. I, it. Because, well, the perfect example is my wife. Mm -hmm. For years, she subscribed to this notion. Oh. That she, really? oh, I, I don't, I want to come lift with you, but I don't want to get big. I'm like, you're not. Well, it's not, uh, that's not what they say. And for those that have never seen Mel, she's just a very slim and shaped gal. Right. So but, she would, she didn't want to get the, the big shoulders. Right. And, yeah. She's like, no, I don't want to do that. But guess what she <clears> discovered? <throat> she discovered CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Cross, she's like, well, this is a great workout. Yep. And, well, and meanwhile, she's doing shoulder presses. She's doing and, shoulder presses. Yeah. And guess what happened? <laughs> she got leaner mm -hmm. and fitter looking. Mm -hmm. She didn't get bigger. And she goes, and that's when I discovered that it was so much easier to keep the fat off. Right. When she left it. So she completely converted then. Yep. 180'd it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. she does CrossFit now and heavy and barbell shit at CrossFit now more than she runs. Right. She used to run 100 miles a week. Exactly. That's awesome. Well, so I guess you convinced one. <laughs> she didn't have a choice. <laughs> Drug her like a well, it's good. Man. It's good that she realized it, though, and then, you know. Finally, you saw the light. Right, kind of. right. So that's great. Um, okay, so as weightlifting gained popularity and edged its way into mainstream culture, many women developed a fear of turning into Arnold if they so much as touched a 10-pound dumbbell. Marketing masterminds caught on. I was always marketers at the, mm -hmm. at the root of this. Somewhere, uh, someone somewhere invented the terms lean muscle and tone up. Tone up, To yes. target women <laughs> who wanted to exercise but not get buff. There it is. That's that lightweight, yep. a lot of High reps. reps. Yep. And a lot of cardio. Yeah. Okay, we need to nix all to, these terms. Even dudes to this day, mm -hmm. when they say, hey, I just, what, what should I do? I just want to tone up. Well, first off, I say, well, what's your goal, Josh? Right. Well, I just want to tone up. Yeah. Okay, that means dick. Means, what do you want to do? I want to tone up my dick. <laughs> it, it seriously, oh, means shit. Which is also known as boning up. <laughs> I want to bone up. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. That got weird. Here's a paragraph. It's in, and this is what the point we make. She's way too oh, behind. The oh, you're looking at the. Yeah. He's critique. Dewey can't help but critique the form of yeah. every exercise. She's got to get underneath that. <laughs> She's, it's going to pull her forward. Maybe she's catching it. I don't know. I know, but she's going to pull her forward. Well, she's she's only like, an inch off the wall. She'll be like right here. No, the <clears> wall <throat> is. She should be closer to the wall. So it's like right here. Right. I'm going to write this person and tell them, you see, suck. See how her, her forearms are like this? Yep. It should be like this. Okay. So you're stacked. So your arms are right. stacked yep. underneath the ball. 90 the degree. Ball should be down. Otherwise perpendicular. It's pull you like yeah, this. It should be perpendicular to the right. ground, right? I got you. All right. So there's your, there's your wall ball lesson, people. <sighs> Okay, so here's the paragraph that means everything. It's actually insane, insanely hard to build muscle. That's what people don't get. Right. This is good news for some, bad news for others. It's great news for women who are afraid of packing on too much muscle. Building muscle is a long, slow process that requires years of consistency, dedication, and effort. See, and that's part of it. There they don't want to do it. 
They don't want to do it. It's hard. Right. So they say, I just don't want to get big. You're not going to. That's their out. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it's too. It's still not worth the risk. And here's the difference. Here's why, you know, men and women, it's different. Women don't have enough testosterone to get bulky. In general, women don't produce as much testosterone as men. Testosterone production is a huge factor in your capacity for muscle growth. So this should automatically tell you, <clears throat> tell you that you won't turn into Wolverine overnight. Of course, there's always exceptions. Some women have higher testosterone levels and some men are lower. So yeah, that, that growth hormone, I mean, that's what testosterone is. But and that's why even, the liver king is just like, ah, give me some, he's right. just injecting it. I, in. I mean, eat the testo the testicles. Yeah, he's doing, exactly. He's doing all that. I mean, anywhere testosterone exists, he's getting it, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm going to wear a cup when I'm around. <laughs> well, no shit. Well, he only eats, yeah, I heard it, the balls he eats are from just dead bodybuilders. <laughs> oh, shit. The, uh, but even not to... Not to just belabor the point, but the chances of these ladies getting like the women bodybuilder search result. Yeah. The chances of them getting that like that, even if they took roids, right. still probably wouldn't happen. No. Those are the one percent of the one percent yeah. of bodybuilders. Who who lift like maniacs as a job. As a all job. day long, right? Yep. It's their living. With with high, high paid trainers <clears throat> telling them exactly how much when to lift and yeah, it's stop. Stop <laughs> using that excuse. Nobody's so, buying your bullshit anymore. So Karen at the you know, from accounting, it's not gonna happen to you. Right. He, he, got, he got years and years of Tony slimming down before you'll start growing. Yes. And like I said, you just gotta you're gonna get your muscle amount up to normal human first. Right. And then enjoy the to, benefits of that. If you're if you have to take a like a running start just to pick up a stapler. <laughs> you don't have to worry about being a bodybuilder. And then if they miss out on this, they're missing out on so many other benefits too. Oh my too. gosh. Increase, especially for women, okay, increasing bone density. I mean, you always hear about osteoporosis, right? The degenerative bone disease common mm -hmm. in older women. Well, we always talk about resistance training as the fountain of youth, and that's how you do not become frail in your older age. Right. So if you're starting out with less than average muscle, lean muscle amount, which most women have, then you're at a higher chance for these types of events. Did I tell a story last week about the guy picking up his car keys? Yeah, it was in the last episode, so tell it again. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, there's this, this a guy at the grocery store. He drops his car keys, and he goes, How old of a gent? <laughs> How old of a gent? I don't fucking know. I can't tell anymore. He could have been my age. He looks 60, but he could have been 48. <laughs> right. I can't tell anymore. Yeah. But seriously, he goes, <sighs> looking around, like, who's going to help me? And nobody. So he's like, like, my key savior. Ugh. And he gets like on the side and he like finally uses gravity to just <laughs> like drop to one knee, <laughs> picks, holds himself up with one arm, hold like this, kind of lean to the side, leans down a little bit more, grabs the key. <sighs> Pushes himself. Jesus Christ. I could have done 30 burpees in the amount of time that it took him to pick up his car keys. Like he was almost ready to say, oh, that car's gone. Uh, Uber, like, Uber on his phone. Like kick it over to like the handrail where he could have, right. by the cart corral. Yikes. And, and use the cart corral as a brace to bend over to pick him up. Just to pick up his keys. Yeah, if you can't. And the night before oh, I did God. a workout that included seven minutes of nonstop burpees. <laughs> right. when you said and you we're did, probably the same age. You said you did one uh, on Veterans Day that was how many box steps? 1,000 step ups. Right, yeah. which is insane. That guy did one to right. pick up his keys. Couldn't even do one, yeah. Or half a burpee, which is basically picking up your right. keys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the frailty is scary, man, very scary. That's one of the main things that motivates me, especially now that I'm 50, you know, you're a 40, what, 48? Eight. Yeah, I mean, that's... I that just, stuff looming, and then you see guys are, and right now our age is right when that there's a wide yes. range of, of yeah. abilities and frailty yep. at our age. Because I see guys that you know when I, when I see guys in my class, my high school class, right? So we're all fifty. There's guys that look like grandpas now, right? And there's dudes that look really good and young still. Yep, and it's a wide range, you know. And you, and not that if you have gray hair or whatever, and you, you know. 
you're not necessarily frail, but <clears throat> you know, you start to see that discrepancy and that that yeah. wide range of abilities. But this guy and I thought about like I have a workout today that is going to take um it's going to take class is an hour. Mm-hmm. And this is the, the workout. Let me read this. And it's going to take one two fifty meter row, two muscle ups, three dumbbell thrusters, four burpee box jumps, five strict handstand push ups. Can you do those? Oh, yeah. I can I can I gotta learn how to do a handstand, that's tough. Six chest to bar pull ups, seven kettlebell swings, eight single arm dumbbell or kettlebell snatches, nine toes to bar. Ooh. That's oh, that's hard. Ten walking lunges with dumbbells. Now speaking, you're already ten things in here. Now. No, 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 no. It gets better. I'm gonna give you the twist when we're done. Okay. Keep uh, going. Eleven ring dips. Twelve man makers. I don't even know what that is. Man makers is two dumbbells, and you go down to the ground. You swing it under, and you pull it above your head. Then you go back down into a burpee, but you're doing burpees with dumbbells. Oh shit! Wow. Okay. Are you ready for it? <laughs> don't say do that twice. Worse. Oh. 12 days of thankfulness. You ever heard the song 12 Days of Christmas? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Da, 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 da. So I have One, to do two, meter. Oh, shit. And then you and add then on. Back up. Oh, and then you add on the next thing and then you start you at the top. And then, oh, shit. That means you're going to do the 250 meter row 12 times. Correct. And then everything else. It corresponding. 11 times, 10 times, nine. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go into the I go into the leaderboard and what does it say? For everyone during the day today. Yeah, well, well, oh, no, I had to click on it. That's people who have completed it already? No, no, that's the problem. Finished through 11. Oh, so nobody, just, nobody completed Somebody put just dead face, dead. <laughs> DNF. They, they gave up 48 D- minutes in. They D- gave up. DNF. Did not finish. Yep, DNF. Oh, shit. DNF. So nobody made it. Well, that's yeah, that's about impossible. And that's it. And that's an hour long class. Wow. That guy couldn't pick up his fucking keys. I bet those people could pick up their keys. <laughs> right. Maybe not after that. <laughs> but two days later, they probably right, can. Right. <laughs> so uh, I mean, it's just okay. I know it's all about perspective. <clears throat> yeah. But come with me and do this shit three times a week, and you'll be able to pick your car keys up for the rest of your fucking life. Yeah, and start wherever you got to start. Right? Scale the shit onto that Scale stuff. it, make it easy. Maybe it is picking up your keys right. 50 times. <laughs> they should they should name an exercise after that. Right. right. Pick up, except for it's like a 50-pound dumbbell. Well, or just it starts with a 10. <laughs> right, yeah. And, and there's people in this class right here that I'll be in class tonight. When we go tonight, I'll be in class with people who are going to scale the shit out of that. Yeah. And some of the movements might be pick up your car. But guess what? They're there. Fucking A right there. They're doing it. And as long as they're progressing, you know, over the course of a year, they're going to, their weights are going to go up. It's going to get easier. 100%. And then guess what they do? They go like this. They take that CrossFit syringe and (laughs) they tap it and they're hooked. That's why you wish you could grab that guy. And go do oh, it. I wanted to. Dude. I'm like, I wanted to go. The, the Greg, Greg Glass. Say, dude, to... I'll pick those keys up for you if you come to my next CrossFit. Right. <laughs> and Greg Glassman has founded CrossFit, yep. but he got forced out because mm-hmm. he got canceled because yep. he's not woke. <laughs> right. So love him or hate him, he said some really stupid shit, mm-hmm. and he probably he got what he deserved. But love him or hate him, you know what he used to do to promote CrossFit in the beginning? He used to just go around and see like that guy see, that couldn't pick up the keys. And he'd go and, and he'd go, I can fix you. Nice. That's all he'd say. Right. And then people, he said nine out of ten would go, I ain't fucking broken. Fuck off, jerk. He's like, no, look at your <laughs> go stomach. Ahead, go ahead, I, chase me. Look at, yeah, look at your <laughs> stomach. I can me. fix that. Right. And then most people would get triggered. Oh, of course, yeah. But one out well, of that ten. That's very aggressive, yeah. One out of ten would go, can you? Wow, right. That's ballsy. Right. Yeah, that's uh, craziness. All right, guys. <clears throat> well, the moral of the story is you're not going to turn into Arnold or Arlene even. Do you want to do a quick update for where we're at? Oh, yeah, for our cutting challenge. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Oh, yeah, cutting challenge. So uh, it's rough, man. It's super hard, isn't it? It's rough. It's hard to keep the muscle mass I'm too and bi- the progress in mind while parsing out 
I'm the too bi- I'm too binary. That's the problem. I, it's like I can either if I can either Joey Chestnut it and eat everything in sight if that was a contest, yeah. or I could starve myself for a month if that was a contest. I could win both of those. Right. The toughest challenge for me ever is to go. No, just eat a little bit less and eat in this much of a deficit. So make sure you're getting enough, but not too much. And, oh, enough, and enough protein. Yes. Which I, I don't have a problem prioritizing protein because that's always my go-to anyways, being it's, almost all well, carnivore. But, but protein hard. to fat is hard. Exactly. The ratio. Yep. Because if I'm eating, I, I was catching myself the other day. I did my like McDonald's, you know, two quarter pound patties. I'm like, shit, this is probably too much fat because ground beef compared to turkey, yep. you know, chicken breast, all the other super leaner turkey sausage, you know, all the, the leaner sources. I'm like, shit, this is probably too, even though I'm strict meat, it's still too much fat. Yep. So it's it's a mind fuck right now. Yeah. So it's, I'm just, uh, I'm struggling big time. Um, so one, that's one my thing update. That, it's a struggle. Yeah. I'm in the same boat. <laughs> um, scale is, it's going in the right direction. Yeah. Um, I'm not break, breaking any records. Um, well, that's the thing. This is slow and steady. Yep. But if it's a race, yeah. like I said, if I just starve myself, my hormones shut down, my body, my metabolism shuts exactly. down. Exactly. And you're then, screwed. Yep. And you start dropping muscle mass, which screws with the body fat percentage, which mm-hmm. is the the overall thing we care about. Right. So you can't do that. Yep. Uh, and I can't, and I'm super, super, super hard into the weights right now. Yep. Which is good because, like I was saying, I think I said this on the last episode, if you don't lose a single ounce of fat, but you put on more muscle, your body fat percentage drops. Right. But then I step on the scale and I'm like, motherfucker in the scale <laughs> because right. it's not doing what I want it to no. as fast as I want it Ideally, to. Ideally, you'd put on muscle and lose fat, but that's But the good, such the a, good thing for me is without showing my cards too much yep. is um, the scale has been trending nicely down mm-hmm. and I'm still super high carb. So it's not water. Right. So I, it, it's actual fat. Right. So, and my lifts have been going up in the gym, so it's not muscle. Yep. So, but it's like sand through a super tiny hourglass. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, this is a tough one, man. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. So we wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, let us know if you Enjoy think, your day. Yeah, if you did any of these hacks, or did you just say F it and go 6,000 calories? Yeah, well, you're, you're <laughs> going to do that. So just do the right shit around it. Yep. Did you fast before? Did you do a slight more cal- increased caloric reduction? What were your hacks for Thanksgiving? Let us know in the comments. Send us email to info at fitandfurious.com. Watch on YouTube. And check us out anywhere audio podcasts are, podcasts are found, Apple, Spotify, Google, etc. Please subscribe, rate, review, and share. Go to FuriousMerch.com for t-shirts, and we will see you next week. Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> <laughs>